my roommate is so mean to me so I'm moving out and taking my stuff with me. For some context, my roommate is kind to me 75 of the time, but the leftover 25 of the time, they're so mean it's not even funny. They snap at me for things outside of my control. They yelled at me for chewing too loudly I was eating chips in the middle of the day, they take naps all the time and told me I could feel free to make noise, but yelled at me for taking a phone call and whispering, they cussed me out for eating food that I thought was mine, and worst of all, they posted a tic-tic bashing me and my partner. Now I decided to move out and I told them that. I got my new room assignment and I'm moving out this weekend. As I'm planning my move, I'm realizing that almost all of the shared stuff in our room is mine. The fridge is mine, the trash can is mine, the vacuum is mine, the pots pans cooking stuff is mine, the cleaning supplies are mine. My roommate and I both had fridges and we decided I'd bring mine and they would leave theirs at home so now they're stuck without a fridge. Serves them right 2 BC they let stuff spill in the fridge and now it's super sticky so I have to clean it. Whenever they're being nice to me, I feel bad, but the moment they snap at me, all my guilt goes right out the window. I mean they were living on your charity in a way and had no gratitude, so. Maybe losing all these things will be a good wake-up call. Leaving a toxic relationship is survival, not revenge. Good for you. I had roommates once. They stole from me. I rented a trailer, had it brought over super early in the morning, loaded up everything including the satellite dish and receiver I was paying for this was quite a while ago and was gone as soon as the sun came up, didn't leave a note, didn't try to talk to them. Cut the friends loose. I did this to my BF when we split up. He wanted to get back with his ex, but then ended up with another girl. We'd been living together. All the kitchen stuff was his but the bed, the furniture, everything else was mine. He told me I could leave it and he put it in storage for me when he moved out but I wanted him to feel my absence so did it myself. I was so glad I did it this way because the thought of him having sex in my bed with another woman would have broken me. If they're nice only 75 of the time, then they're not nice. Living with someone like that would be exhausting. Glad you got out. Don't feel bad for these types of people. Take your stuff and run, you'll feel so much happier in your new non-toxic place. I had a housemate once who owned basically everything in our apartment except for the things in my bedroom. She moved back to her parents after our friendship soured but stayed on the lease which was ending in a couple of months, and would come back periodically when I wasn't home to move the furniture around or take random items like a single kitchen chair or all the spoons. I think she thought it was some kind of great revenge plan but it was just super odd it was all her stuff, I wasn't using it, just take it. Not sure if this is our petty revenge or our karma. Sounds like an abusive relationship. Leave, never question if you did the right thing because you did. And you would probably be better off blocking them so they can't contact you again. Living 75 in peace isn't worth it. Glad you got out of that toxic place. Always strive for 100 peace in your home. Leave a bag of chips as a going away present. Been there. Done that. Feels so good. Especially when the roommate is a next level cheapskate and refuses to contribute a dime to the common good. Have fun buying a nicer couch. And coffee table. And stereo. And record player and nice as hell pots and pans, and dishes, and every appliance in the kitchen except fridge and oven. I even took the trash can. LOL. Haha ha, I paid for all the toilet paper so when my housemates kicked me out for not doing drugs and not being okay with their drug use, I took all the toilet paper. Even the rolls on the holders. They woke up to no toilet paper that day and one of them the only nice one mentioned it was kind of mean but she approved because she didn't blame me. She said my husband's ex was furious though. Too bad you couldn't have had the roommate reassigned since all your stuff was there. Don't feel bad when someone is being mean to you. Pack all your shit. Your ex-roommate now has a chance to live a minimalist lifestyle empty room no household items have fun. I'm happy you're getting freedom. I can't stand people like that it's so nerve-wracking for me. 
be prepared mentally for them to fight you about removing your stuff. Does your housemate have misophonia by any chance? One misophonic I know has it so bad they won't live together with anyone. Either way, good for you moving out. You don't need that toxicity in your life. Good for you thumbs up sign thumbs up sign. I worked with a person like that. She had her special friends who tattooed something on their wrists for her birthday. Don't buy into the nice behavior, these people can be truly horrific. Leaving a sardine stuffed in a curtain rod would be a great going away gift. You must be in college, right? Please be in college. That almost sounds like mental illness, like they need help. However, that's not your job and you gotta do what's best for your mental health. Please, people, post revenge stories after you do the revenge. People like reading about the fallout just as much as the cause and description of the revenge. Probably more so, in fact. Right now there really isn't any satisfaction to be had. I wanna see the tic tic lol. Don't forget to upper deck them the day you leave. So kind of unrelated, I'm not American, and when you guys say roommate I just assume it means you share a home in the UK we would say housemate. But in a college setting, do you guys actually just get moved into some sort of dorm with someone else and not get a private room? Just make sure the stuff is yours, instead of you just thinking it's yours. Are the joys of growing up and realizing the world is full of shitty people. I had a similar situation but I kicked them out and they basically had nothing to take but the one thing they did take was the cinnamon. The fucking cinnamon because on the weekends we made French toast face with tears of joy it was petty, but I laugh about it now cause I stuck cat turds in her pillow after she left pubes everywhere. Enjoy your freedom dove. Awesome move. Get out and save your sanity. Everyone is raised differently. That overflows into adult life. You don't deserve trauma. What did the roommate say when you announced your departure? Work on reciprocal relationships. I've dealt with people like this. Good on you for taking the initiative to leave damn lame asses. It's your life, you do what you want with it, and if it's your things, it's only normal that you take them with you. Or did you think someone who cusses at others deserves such presents? Being nice with others you live with is just normal behavior. No need to be thankful and feel guilt. Just get out and live your life the way you want to. Also, about that tic-tic, if you are both living in a dorm, I would report it and have it taken down. Such behavior is bullying, that shouldn't be allowed on school grounds. I have similar issues w my roommate. Sometimes she's the sweetest, most considerate person and it makes me feel bad for hating her so much. But she also never does her share of housework and is extremely manipulative, petty, passive-aggressive, hypocritical, and so fucking needy. Unfortunately I'm renting and even though our other roommate landlord's daughter also wants her out, the dumbass gave her a two-year lease so there's no way to make her leave. Fingers crossed she leaves after this year. You lost a lot when you lost me. Six paperback books and a din tree. A. Hey, fuck em. Good for you, should have done it earlier. Not the asshole. Take your stuff and run forest, run for the hills. I an update on Monday for their reaction. Stop thinking about them and the mess you've left them in. You do you, girl, and live your best life. Gif Giffy 9 JCGFCWHQGYVRCDXNM downsized. This is why I'm so happy to now live alone. I did this. The people I lived with were fucking assholes and so much stuff was mine. I didn't tell them I was leaving, just quietly packed. It wasn't until the last day when I practically emptied the kitchen and then took the TV and skybox that they realized and they were not impressed. Don't bully the people you live with. This is what happens when you're mean to people, they choose not to be around you. Your roomie will have a tantrum when you leave because they will have to live with themselves and their own stuff. When you aren't there to be a scapegoat they'll have to find someone else to be angry at. It will probably still be you until they find someone else to live with. 